A new CDC data says that kids haven't been getting routine vaccines during the pandemic, so it's unlikely that there will be a rush on COVID-19 boosters for children. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares why it's a growing concern. Hey there, everybody. The Independent Advisory Committee to the CDC expected to issue its recommendation on boosters for kids ages 5 to 11 as early as tomorrow. That means shots could be going into arms by Friday if parents will encourage kids to get these boosters. Probably I'm going to tell them, hey guys, I went, I got the vaccine, you guys should try it. Jay Baker, who is nine, didn't hesitate to get his COVID-19 vaccine as part of clinical trials at Ohio's Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The hospital provided this video. His mom was thrilled. They really can get back to being kids. But Jay and his mom bucking the trend right now. Only about one in three children in this 5 to 11 age group have chosen to get even the initial COVID-19 vaccine. That's raising the odds the booster numbers will be even lower. You need to get that primary series. That's the thing that really gets our biggest bang for the buck. But it's not just the COVID-19 vaccine that has pediatricians concerned. It's that the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy is now carrying over into other childhood vaccines. Oh, absolutely. We have we have a number of people who come in and don't want to get their uh, their their routine vaccines. As this CDC video shows, that raises the risk of other childhood illnesses getting back into circulation. You don't hear a lot about whooping cough and measles and chicken pox, but they're out there. The CDC reports in 2020, they saw a 15 percent drop from pre pandemic levels in states orders for vaccines for children. Last year, it was about 7 percent. Pediatrician Dr. Joe Bailey says that drop is partly due to where people seek vaccine information. A lot of people are going to social media. Yeah. Dr. Bailey says do what Jay and his mom did. If you have questions about the COVID-19 booster or any other vaccine, talk to your pediatrician. The FDA expanded authorization for a booster dose in this age group, saying it should be given five months after the primary series is completed. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.